What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as Mental Illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, y'all, we're going to be ask, answering the question, why do a lot of narcissists hate their exes? Hate them. Hate. With a capital H, capital A, little T, big E. <laughs> Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. So one of the red flags I try to tell people to watch out for for narcissistic people is that they hate their exes. And they not only do they hate their exes, they are obsessed with ruining their exes' lives or trying to hurt or harm an ex. Like while actively being in a relationship with you. Like y'all are together in a relationship, but they are hyper focused on getting back at an ex that left them or something like that. While they're supposed to be happy with you, you might be the new supply. You might be the narcissist's new supply, and they might try to turn you into a flying monkey to harass and, you know, um, post separation abuse their ex partner. This happens all the time. If you're dealing with somebody that you think might be narcissistic and they're just hyper focused on an ex, just be very, very careful in these situations, y'all because they could claim to hate that ex, but somehow stay in contact with them and somehow maybe end up back together with them. If they're still talking to their exes or reaching out to their exes or trying to ruin their exes' lives or stalking their ex. Y'all, I'm not telling you to leave this person alone, but. So welcome back y'all. I know y'all see it, Turtle Power. I'm a kid at heart today. Teenage, mut teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles in the half shell. Turtle about okay. Here was an half shot. Turtle about oh yeah. So why do some narcissists hate their exes, y'all? Y'all see the person in, in the screen right there? She um, if you could re you, if you couldn't read the text on the screen, it says he hated his ex. He found uh below in every way. She, he found her below him in every way. He tried to hurt me to go back to them. Y'all, I'm just telling you, narcissistic people. A lot of them hate their exes. They do. And y'all was like, but why do they hate their exes so much? Like. And sometimes they'll go back to them. Why do they hate somebody? And then sometimes go back to them. Narcissistic people, the ones that I've spoken to, the ones I've just observed, and I, you know, they hate their exes that they feel like got over on them. They hate the ex that they feel like defeated them in some way, shape, or form. That's one of the main reasons. It's not the only reason, but one of the main reasons is they hate you. They hate the ex. They hate the old supply because they got away from them. Like you survived the abuse, you survived the toxicity, you lived to tell the tale. And that's super important right there, y'all. You lived to tell the tale. First of all, you survived, shout out to you. But you are able to tell your tale if you wanted to. You see what I'm saying? You're able to tell your truth and what happened to you if you so deemed it, if you wanted to, you could. You absolutely could. You could open your mouth and tell every tell the whole world what happened. And a lot of people might not believe you. Some people might not believe you. Everybody might not believe you. But you're able to say that, and that puts fear in that narcissistic person's heart. Because you got away. You know me, you know me for who I really am. And you can expose me if you wanted to. You know? You could absolutely expose me if you wanted to. So they I they, they hate you. He's like you got away. And that's why I was telling people, y'all, it is a red flag. It is a red flag in when you just meet somebody and they are not only do they hate their ex, but they try to somehow stay involved with them, try to keep them around, stalk them. You see me at the end of the video, I said, I'm not telling you to leave that person, but mm, mm, if you meet y'all, oh my God, whew, I feel a rant bubble coming on. I'm gonna just let it pop. If you meet somebody in this day and age, and they are stalking their ex. Leave them the hell alone. Like, what? Yeah, yeah. In your mind, especially, especially if they don't have kids, especially even if they do have kids and they're still stalking their ex and they taking you along for the ride, y'all. What are you doing riding shotgun to a felony? Y'all riding shotgun to a felony. Now you look like a flying monkey for what? Somebody you just met. You see what I'm saying? For what? Somebody you just met, you riding shotgun to stalk a stranger because of something that some, based on what? You wanna be a ride or die from the beginning? Y'all, you just started riding. You just started riding with this person. Now you ready to die already? You are ready to be a ride or die? Y'all, you, this is your first ride. 
This your first ride, and then you already ready to die? What the hell, y'all? People be losing their careers, their jobs, their lives, their freedom. For what? Somebody you just met that's stalking, harassing their ex? Come on now, y'all. We have got, like, literally, we have got to have stronger mindsets than this right there in this day and age. If they are stalking their ex, they clearly hate them. And or they're worried about their ex, their ex moving on and doing better than them. And or they still want the ex back. You see what I'm saying? Why do y'all, this is a question you have to ask yourself. Why do I want to be in a relationship with somebody who's still clearly obsessed with their ex? Yeah, I know what some people are going to say, because I've, I've asked this question to people before on one on one. I was like, so what do you what do you go back for? Oh, because I know that because I thought about it and I figured like they're a good person. I like their character and stuff like that. And I, if I could just get them over their ex and they could be with me, and we could be happy. Y'all leave them alone. Stop holding on to but that's literally this almost the same thing as holding on to potential. I saw the potential in them. No, y'all stop. Y'all, this make my head hurt. Y'all, mate, y'all aging me. Y'all aging me. Come on now, 2023. Narcissists hate. Some narcissists hate their ex because they want them back, but the ex won't take them back. They so they hate them. You rejected me. Rejection breeds obsession. If you reject the wrong person, they become obsessed with their rejection. Why did you reject me? Why am I not good enough? Why not me? Why can't you listen to me? Why can't you talk to me? Why can't we be there for each other? Why can't we do this for each other? You see what I'm saying? You see where the mind goes. You mean, you see what I'm saying? You see where the mind goes in this dynamic, in this mindset, in this, in this, in this space. You see it. Y'all understand it. You get it. You get it. You get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> they might hate their ex because they want them back and the ex won't take them back. Don't go along for the ride, y'all. These are these are huge, huge red flags in the beginning that they're showing you, that they're will, willingly showing to you. This is a, y'all, this is not just a red flag. This is them coming to the first date with a red suit on, or a red dress, a red tie, a red beret, a red uh, handkerchief, red heels or, or shoes, uh, and a, wrapped in a red trench coat. Come on now, everything everything red. Don't be colorblind. Don't be willfully colorblind. Because like, y'all don't just like, oh, I see the potential. You could be such a good person. Come on now, y'all. Come on. We got to wake up now. Come on, snap your fingers. Do your step. We can do it. No, I'm joking. But yeah, seriously. They hate their exes, y'all. If they hate their exes, turn the other direction. Just leave them alone. You don't, yeah, There's so many other people out here. There's so much. There's so many other chances for you to be happy. Don't get wound wound up in these relationships because they, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna just be frank with you. You might end up looking stupid later on for giving somebody a chance and believing somebody. They like, they drive them by their ex's house at night. You know what I mean? To see who there. You know what I'm saying? What the heck? Or they, in the morning. Or they, they, oh, I saw my ex at the gym. I followed him to the gym this morning. Yo, come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, it makes my head hurt, y'all. I'm rooting for y'all. I want y'all to win. That's why I get so frustrated. I promise you, y'all. Anyways, rebuild that self-love. Hop on Amazon. Grab this self-love journal to help you rebuild that self-love and authenticity so you're not getting in the car and you're loving yourself enough to not stalk, this, stalk somebody's ex with them. Like and subscribe for more. Turtle power. Mental illness is out. Peace. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video, y'all. If you didn't know, we wrote a kid's book called Remember It's Not Your Fault to help kids understand that they are not in control of whatever circumstances they were born into, talk about boundaries, tell them the truth, all of that stuff, y'all. It's available on Amazon right now or the link in my description of every single video or podcast that you listen to. Thank you so much. Remember, it's not your fault. Peace.